So I'm gonna show you guys how I did a quick DIY hot air balloon for my daughter's um, photo shoot using a cheap hot glue gun, my old pregnancy ball, and some fake Dollar Tree flowers. Also this basket from my house. I thought I was using this beach ball, it's so obviously too small, which gave me the idea to back this pregnancy ball out of my closet. And here I am getting that thing blown up. This is more like the size that's needed. So I started off with taking the flowers off of the stems so that I can prepare them to hot glue to the yoga ball. So here we are. I ended up picking a pretty orange color, this little yellow beige color, and a pink rose. My daughter's photo shoot, the vibe was kind of like boho princess, so I felt like these colors were perfect. Now I'm going to cut the stems off, the off of the flowers because you want the, the back of the flowers to be pretty flat to go smooth onto the yoga ball. Also, you don't want any stems on your roll because that is going to potentially pop it and that's not what we want to do. So yeah, I was just playing with it. I really like how these colors look together. And the first three was really the easy part. <laughs> I put the hot glue on the little plastic part of the flower and then also on this part. And it sticks to the yoga ball pretty easy. I just dabbed it a little bit and we were good to go. Look how pretty. So I said that was the easy part because along the way I realized it got a little complicated, a little more complicated than I expected. Trying to figure out where to put that next flower so that you're not cluttering colors was a little annoying, but um, over time I figured it out. I used Gorilla Hot glue sticks and yeah, I was just going with the flow. So this is as much as I got done that night and you can see I still had a long way to go and I honestly did not have that many flowers left. I came up with the plan to just basically finish the bottom, fill out that whole bottom area right there because I know that that part is going to be visible in the picture the most and then I was going to work my way um, up from the sides. Moving on to the sticks, I got these from Walmart's Arts and Crafts section. They were about $2 each. I got me some standing pads and some wood stain in the color Kona. This color matched the basket to me, so I felt like that was my best option. I put down a plastic drop cloth and an old shower curtain to protect my wood floors. And then I got to staining, which was really easy. It takes all of two minutes and um, I just let them dry overnight. I had them laid out on the rack that I planned to use for the project that I didn't end up using and I'll tell you guys later. But here are my sticks covered in that beautiful chocolate and I'm gonna let them dry. Next day I used some eight inch cable tables that I had lying around my house and the idea that I had was to just stick them right through the basket and um, tie them so that they're secure. I was lacking a little common sense right here because I don't know what made me put the tie in this way because doing it this way you see at the bottom you're gonna you're gonna be able to see that like bulky square part on the outside which we don't want visible in our pictures and so I did a few of them this way before I realized that if I do it the other way that part will be on the inside so that's what I'm doing right now the wrong thing <laughs> and then eventually I um noticed and I switched it around but look how sturdy that stick is see I think right here is when I did it that way and I was like okay so yeah I did um two for each pole one at the bottom as you can see right there and then one towards the middle you don't want to do them too high because you don't really want them visible in the picture there we go all four poles sturdy I fixed the ones that were messed up like I said and then you just cut those ends right off
look how pretty this came out i'm so obsessed like these colors are so pretty those little the green just gave it a pop everything came out perfect it's nice and full except for my babies if my baby was bald in the back it's okay like <laughs> i ran out of flowers and you're only gonna be able to see the front of the picture i do want to use this in my baby's room and i want to put like stuffed animals in it so i eventually will um complete the whole thing but for now this is gonna work so this rack i was going to put on the top of the sticks and then i was going to place the ball on top of it but i ended up just placing the ball directly onto those wooden sticks because it just went perfect it was enough support and it made the height perfect for my baby there she goes look how pretty she is oh my god this came out so perfect her pictures came out great and it was such an easy simple project i hope that i gave you guys some ideas to tap into your creative side because you can do this so please be sure to like comment and subscribe and if i was talking too fast which i tend to do and you had any questions about anything i left out feel free to leave those down below thank you